iconic, the economy of certainty, an introduction to the topology of Islamic legal theory by Aaron Zizel, Harvard University, 1984, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Chapter 1. When Zik, when Sink, in his classical Muslim creed, regards this article as being directed against the Shia and the Khawarij, who rejected the wiping of sandals as a substitute for the washing of feet, he misses its reference to the internal Hanafi dispute. A late commentator, Mullah Hussein bin Skandar, who dies circa 1084, commensurate with 1673, is more informative. For him, the dispute is between Abu Hanifa, the author of the work, and Abu Yusuf, who held that rejection of this tradition amounted to kufr, because it was mutawatir. Apparently, what has happened is this. Jassas, as we have noted, based his position on the teaching of Abu Yusuf. This identification with Abu Yusuf became common, and those who took the opposing view, the followers of Ibn Abban, tried to identify their own views with Abu Hanifa. The Wasiya is a document stemming from this group, and thus, at least in part, should be dated considerably later than the 9th century, as suggested by Wensink. It can be no earlier than the end of the 10th century. The position linked with Jassas was for a long time the dominant one, and is reported as that of the majority by al Samarqandi. It even won approval outside of the Hanafi camp from among a group of the Asharites, the Ashari Shafi'i specifically, Ibn al fawraq uh, who dies 406-1015, Abu Ishaq al-Isfara'ini, dies 418-1027, and his student Abdul Qadir al-Baghdadi, dies 429-1037. Al-Isfara'ini especially was favorably disposed to the Hanafis, and his teaching shows their influence at many points. The Ibn Abban view, however, ultimately came to be dominant among the Hanafis. It was supported by such figures as Abu Zayd al-Dabusi, dies 430-1038-39, Sarkhasi, dies 500-1089, and by the time of Bukhari, dies 730-1329. It has won the day. Even among the late supporters of Jassas, the original position was eroded. This is manifested in their refusal to attach unbelief to a rejection of a mashur tradition. It was thus not recorded accorded the same status as the Daruli Mutawatir, an anomaly which Asamar Gandhi explains as follows, quite a long quote here. The difference between them is that to reject a Mutawatir tradition is to give lie to the Prophet, for the reports of a Mutawatir tradition are beyond number at the beginning and at the end, and consequently is equivalent to what is heard from the Prophet himself. But the rejection of a Mashur tradition is not giving the lie to the Prophet, because a number who could not have conspired to lie have not heard it from the Prophet. It is only a unit tradition which the scholars of the second generation have accepted, so that to reject it is to accuse them of error in accepting it and suspect them of insufficient attention to it, to its really coming from the Prophet. To accuse the scholars of error is not, however, unbelief, but innovation and error. Thus, even those like Samarqandi who claimed certainty for the Mashhur tradition denied that belief was at stake. According to Sarkhasi, there has never been any disagreement on this point at all. The sharp line, which has formally divided the two groups, is now obliterated, and the dispute, which no longer had any practical bearing, lost importance. Behind some of the developments we have been looking at is the very significant question of whether there is many, any concurrent traditions at all. This question was raised by some distinguished scholars of Hadith. In their case, one could claim that the question was based on a misunderstanding of a concept foreign to their discipline, but the problem takes on a new importance when the same question is raised by those primarily known as jurists. Thus, the Maliki al karafi dies 684-1285, regards the mutual specialization of two concurrent traditions as a purely theoretical matter. He states, It is difficult to give an illustration of this topic with respect to two concurrent sunnas in our day, for concurrence in traditions is infrequent in our day or non-existent because of the lack of attention to the transmission of traditions, and there are no traditions left except those that provide probability, than only. Thus, one of the jurists has said that there is no concurrent tradition except actions are judged by intentions, but upon examination we do not find this concurrent for us either. Where is the number that cannot possibly conspire to lie in all the generations between us and the Messenger of God? For al karafi concurrent traditions had once existed, but had become extinct. For the Hanafi, Abu Yusuf al-Bazdawi, who dies 493-1099, 
the problem of concurrent traditions lay at the other end of the chain, at its origin. According to him, there was no concurrent traditions on legal topics, but only on such matters as the existence of Mecca. This means that it was a mashhur tradition upon which the law was based. It is thus not surprising to find Abu Yusuf Bazdawi among the strongest supporters of the treatment of mashhur traditions as virtually equivalent to concurrent ones, even to the point that he attaches unbelief to their denial. In this, he tells us he was following his teacher, Shams al Imma al Halwani, dies 4481056. Whereas as Bazdawi looked to the mashhur category to remedy the deficiency in concurrent traditions, Others reinterpreted the Mutawatir category itself. This is the upshot of the rehabilitation of Nafam's position that has already been mentioned. Not mere numbers, but the precise circumstances of the transmission becomes critical. Out of, the tendency, out of this tendency grew the division of Mutawatir traditions into general and special. That was particularly dear to Ibn Taymiyyah, who dies 728-1328. There are Mutawatir traditions peculiar to each group of specialists. To this extent, the perception of Tawatir knowledge was seen as an active rather than a passive experience in which all could equally share. Stay tuned for the unit tradition, specifically the unit tradition in Hanafism. Stay tuned for many more parts.